nasal drops are used to relieve temporary nasal congestion caused by a variety of conditions such as the common cold, sinusitis, hay fever and allergies. It reduces swelling and congestion by constricting the blood vessels around the nose. How to apply nasal drops? As directed, administer this medicine through the nose. Observe all usage instructions provided on the product's packaging or follow doctor's advice. A pharmacist or doctor should be consulted if you have any questions. Before applying nasal drops, wash your hands. To avoid contamination, do not touch the dropper tip or allow it to come into the contact with elder's nose or any other surface. This medication only provides the elderly with temporary relief. Do not give more medication or give it more frequently or for longer than prescribed as this may increase the risk of side effects. Also, do not use this medication for more than three days because it may cause rebound congestion. Long-term redness and swelling inside the nose as well as increased runny nose are symptoms of rebound congestion. If this occurs, discontinue use of the medication and consult with elderly's doctor or pharmacist. Inform the elderly doctor if the condition worsens or lasts longer than three days. Give inhalation or nebulization. Nebulizers are simple to operate and many of them are also compact enough for travel or dorm rooms and silent enough for quiet nights. Nebulizer machines are frequently required for elders who are unable to coordinate inhaler timing. The medication is packaged in sterile unit dose vials, so no measuring or mixing is required. Step-by-step -step nebulizer instructions. Please wash your hands. Always wash your hands before handling the medication and equipment to nebulizer and lungs, germ-free for elderly. Examine medication. Examine the medication carefully before you begin. Has it passed its expiration date? Does the vial have any cracks or breaks? Does the medication appear discolored? Has it been exposed to extremely hot or cold temperatures? Replace the medicine if you answered yes to any of these questions. Gather equipment. A compressor, the basic nebulizer machine, tubing, a cup, the nebulizer for the medicine and a mouthpiece are all included in most setups. The compressor blows air into the medication in the cup, turning it into an aerosol. The cup design determines how well the system produces droplets of sufficient size to travel deep into the airways. Less medication escapes into the air with breath enhanced and breath actuated units. Elderly people who are unable to effectively use a mouthpiece should always wear a mask. Choose one that is soft and flexible enough to fit snugly on their faces while also covering their mouths and noses. Fill the nebulizer cup with the medication. Unit dose vials are simple to use. Simply twist off the cap and pour. Choose a nebulizer cup with a flat bottom for easy pouring. As you pour, ask the elder to sniff and discard any medication that smells bad, spoiled or like it might contain rubbing alcohol. If the cup is overfilled, the medication may not be aerosolized at the correct particle size. Sit back and wind down. Ask the elder to put on the mask or mouthpiece. Ask them to close their teeth and lips tightly around it. And then turn on the nebulizer machine. Ask them to continue to breathe normally. If elderly start coughing, turn off the machine until elderly can breathe normally again. Continue the breathing exercise until the cup is completely empty. Stop the treatment if the medication foams or bubbles. 
you may have defective or contaminated medicine or equipment. Make use of a mask. Clean up. Maintain the cleanliness of nebulizer cup, mouthpiece and tubing according to the manufacturer's instructions. Whatever gets into the cup from your or elderly hands, medication or house dust will enter elderly lungs. When everything is clean and dry, store the system in a dust-free location. The nebulizer cup or mouthpiece units and tubing do not last indefinitely. The plastic will degrade over time. Don't forget to clean or replace the air filter if one is present when replacing them as recommended.